Hey guys, welcome back to Better Biomed. So today I'm on site and I have a treadmill here and the buttons are broken through on the adhesive panel, control panel. Now, sometimes when the buttons break through, it's a symptom and it's a symptom to a bigger problem. So let's go ahead and take a look at this control panel so you can see what I mean. And then I will show you why I say it's a symptom to a bigger problem. Okay. Right here, you can see the speed up, speed down. These are obviously the two most common used buttons. Now, these are normally like a um, membrane. And on the back, it's just open. You can see how I have it removed. So this is rigid and then this is soft. Well, usually when you have these type of consoles, the buttons are pressed forward quite a bit. And if they're not pressed forward enough, what you will get this right here so it's usually indicative of either a circuit board that's loose behind the rigid platform or something else is going on to which the something else going on is what we have so these little risers right here they're foam really nice but you can see how they're adhered to the top of buttons and you can see what happens over time is they degrade as they degrade, they often just slip off or they pulverize to nothing, which is what happened here. Which is why those two buttons were pressed in. So the staff said that they replaced the decal a couple times. Well, the problem is, is if the decal is designed for this height and you're getting that height, you can see the difference. So what you're doing is you're stretching the decal and pressing it in further than what it was designed which is why we have to actually clean the board right here. And you, you can see I'm using a WD-40 contact cleaner and a nylon brush to clean these surfaces really well. Notice I'm wearing gloves, not only because you know chemicals are bad, but also because you don't want any finger oils on these. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace these with a part that I found Let's see, where is it? All right. So here I've got some standoff feet, which these are rubber and various sizes in that package. And I will end up putting those and these. I'm gonna replace all these and these ones here, I already checked the adhesive's good. This is for the up and down of the treadmill, but you can tell that they're, they're in excellent condition. So I will not be touching those but I'm cleaning the circuit board because there's a little bit of corrosion and there's just a bunch of other stuff going on with the circuit board. So I'm cleaning it and removing the adhesive like I did on these two and I'll replace them and put it back together. So guys, that just goes to show you, if you ever see a failure with a piece of equipment, analyze that failure. It's either a defective console because bad design, which I doubt, um, or it's something like this. There's risers. Maybe it's the cleaning solution that the staff is using to clean the console. It might be too harsh and it's degrading the plastic. Maybe the console is in the direct UV light from outside, which this one's near a window, but these are UV filter glass panels, so that's not a concern. But UV cleaning chemicals and hardware failure are the leading causes for when those buttons are degrading and pressing through. So if you ever see a console where the buttons are, are breaking like that, there's a bigger problem and you need to do a deeper inspection. Thanks for watching guys.